What is going on, beautiful and handsome people of YouTube? Carly here, welcome to the vlog. For this episode, I just want to chill a bit and just share with you some experiences the last few days. We're going to talk about uh, meeting Will Dasovich and Ale Alodia and then checking out what were the sneakers of the day of Will and why those sneakers were something that I found super interesting. And I think it really captures and embodies the work ethic of Will and Alodia. So that's number one. Number two, we will be talking about and I will be sharing clips of my talk during a recent event where I talked about the Momo Challenge. So that one... Whew, that one is really a can of worms and I will be talking about that at the very end of the vlog. So guys, make sure you watch till the end. It's going to be a fun vlog today. Let's go. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so because we are going to draw the winner of the Realme C1 smartphone very soon. So make sure that you subscribe, click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and then click the link down below for the rest of the mechanics. So I was able to meet up with Will Dasovich. He is one of the top YouTubers uh, here in the Philippines. Also with Alodia. Alodia, of course, is the queen of cosplay, esports, and gaming. She's also the co-founder of one of the first, I think, gaming talent companies here in the Philippines called Tier One. Now, what I found interesting was that the sneakers of Will it's something that I immediately recognize because it's a pair that I've been eyeing to get ever since it was announced. It's actually a K-Swiss sneaker. So it's not Adidas, it's not Nike, it's not Off-White, it's not Super Hype, it's K-Swiss. But what makes it special is that it is the signature sneaker of author and motivational speaker and all-around entrepreneurship idol, Gary Vaynerchuk. Now, Gary Vaynerchuk, guys, is one of the most impactful people in my personal career. I've read almost all of his books, and one of my favorite books is his, his one of his earlier uh, books called, uh, what do you call that? Earlier titles called uh, Crush It. So it basically tells you that you can monetize anything. There's no excuse for you to not make a living doing what you love, all of that good stuff. So my career has been heavily influenced by that man. So I've always wanted to buy that pair, but they never actually sold it in the Philippines. And it was just awesome seeing it in person and seeing someone who embodies the philosophy of Crush Shit, somebody who embodies the philosophies of Gary Vaynerchuk, Will Dasovich actually wearing the shoe. So it was just pretty sick and pretty awesome seeing the shoe there. And yeah, it's, it's still something that I want to buy. Uh, after that, I took a look at StockX and I was surprised that it was actually being sold on StockX. So yeah, I put in an order. I will be buying that. So watch out for my review and unboxing of the K-Swiss Gary Vaynerchuk signature sneaker in the coming days ahead. Well, Alodia Jago, it was fantastic and awesome seeing you guys earlier today. Looking forward to working closer with you guys in the next few months. So that's the first part of the vlog. The second part is all about the Momo Challenge, that annoying picture of that weird Japanese thing that keeps popping up on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram. Can you please stop sharing that disturbing image? But anyway, now to give you guys a background on the Momo Challenge, it became viral here in the Philippines a few days ago basically there was a complaint that said that an image or a video of momo the character that i was talking about earlier that disturbing image would pop inside the middle of children's videos on youtube kids and then tell the kids to get in touch with them and then it would give very disturbing uh like messages to the kids telling them to commit self-harm or suicide now youtube has came out with a statement saying that they have searched all of their videos and they have found no evidence zero evidence of Momo coming up and popping up on YouTube Kids and YouTube videos. Now, granted, it doesn't necessarily mean that there are no harmful videos out there. There are a lot, and I will be talking about that in a bit. But my main point is that I think a lot of people really bought into the hysteria and the media really got into it and blew it totally out of proportion. And, uh, at this point, I just want to share with you guys a very short clip of a talk that I did in a recent event where I talked about the Momo Challenge and what I think parents should be doing to be able to combat that and to be able to make sure that their kids are safe online. So let's take a look at this clip. Just before going here today, I was interviewed by three TV stations about the current Momo uh, challenge. I don't know if you guys saw that. Uh, and they asked me, what is the uh, solution to the issue? Una -una po sa lahat sa folks. The Momo challenge came out last year, pa, 2018, around July, uh, June. It was never proven. There's never been a, a screenshot showing uh, that, I don't know, that it's real. But having said that, 
If there's one lesson that the Momo Challenge teaches, it really shows the dark side of social media. What is the dark side of social media? If you ask me, the dark side of social media is mainly because of parents abdicating their guardianship role on technology to their kids. That's it. At the very core of it. It's because the older generation refused to learn, to go ahead of their kids, to learn the dangers that their kids will face, and they let their kids do it by themselves. And I'm not saying that it makes that parent a bad parent. It's the reality of how fast digital just exploded. But it's not too late. We can still catch up. We can still learn. And we can still be part of the world of our kids and go before them because that is supposed to be our road. Dapat tayo yun ang una, di ba? Tayo dapat yung sumasangga. Tayo dapat yung sumasangga ng mga ganyang problema. I cannot count the number of instances where parents have gone to me and asked me and told me horror stories of their, what happened to their kids because of social media. There's this one story of a guy who was victimized by a modus operandi of a criminal group that would post a sexy girls Marikilalandin yung lalaki. This is a 14-year-old kid, ha? Lalandin yung lalaki sa Facebook. Gagat mga pictures ako ano-ano. Papadala ng mga naked pictures ko bagay ng babae. Asking the kid, the guy, for naked pictures of himself as well. So the 14-year-old would send, uh, sorry for the term, like dick pics <laughs> that he has, and naked pictures to the criminal group. And then the criminal group would blackmail him. Parang give me 10,000 or else I would spread it. Give me 20,000. Anong nangyari? Si anak, umukupit kay Maguna. Kasi siyempre takot ng takot siya eh. He dropped out of school. His life has changed forever. They moved out of the country because the pictures circulated to his friends. There are a lot more stories scarier than Momo that are happy, happening on a daily basis. To all the people here who are parents and to all the people here who are about to be parents or who aspire to be parents, let me encourage you. You have to go ahead. Kailangan mauna kayo. You need to learn Facebook, you need to learn Instagram, you need to know how Tinder works, how Bumble works, how Happily works, because that is your role. That is the role entrusted to you as parents. And you cannot abdicate it. You cannot let go of it. So you, if you ask me, is the core problem of digital. Imagine how it would look like Sabihin natin a few years from now, where sabihin natin, digital is more inculcated into education. When you have parents teaching their kids about critical thinking, about teaching their kids about not believing fake news, about teaching their kids how to spot if an article is fake or not, that's when you see digital democracy become mature. When the parents are part of it. I was just watching the NBI interview kanina about the Momo Challenge. You know what the NBI said? We cannot possibly guard every single Facebook account and monitor every single Facebook account in the country. We cannot. That's our job. That's individually all of your jobs as parents. And that for me is the biggest bane of social media. When parents and the elder generation, the older generation, abdicates their role as guardians, abdicates their role as experts. Because kids can be experts of technology, but they don't have the values yet. It's not yet formulated. Knowing what is right and wrong is not yet clear to them. Kayo yung may alam nun. Tayo yung nauni. Tayo yung nagkamali. Tayo lang nasaktan, right? <laughs> diba? Hindi pa sila. So yung mga natutunan natin ganun, dapat pinapasa natin sa mga... Naging parent TikTok, no? Sorry, ah. <laughs> Kasi bunyan din daw, eh. But anyway, you guys get the idea. That said, thank you very much to the Development Bank of the Philippines who invited me over to their event to, for, to talk about the boon and bane of social media. Let me guys know if you want to hear and see and watch the entire talk. I actually have the clip of the entire thing, but I just haven't gotten around to editing and cleaning everything up so that you guys can watch it. But at least you have some part of it in that particular video. And that actually wraps up our vlog for today. I think this is like the third vlog for the day. I already uploaded like two previously. So I will put links to the previous two vlogs in the description box as well as the comment section down below. Make sure that you guys check that out as well if you have time. And don't forget again to subscribe to the channel, to follow me on Instagram, and then to hit the link down below so you can be part of the pool for our raffle for the Realme C1 smartphone. Guys, that's it for now. I hope you had a great week. I hope you ha all have a blessed and meaningful weekend ahead. Peace, God bless, what's up? Boom. 
next for the vlog this shoe has been getting a ton of hate and i just want to you know chime in on this so watch out for the next vlog that i will be dropping this weekend where i talk about the jordan one defiant couture and why i feel and i actually why i actually love the shoe and why i disagree with a lot of people who have been heavily heavily criticizing it in the last few days